the weathered face of a Peruvian queen, buried with a vast trove of jewels and treasure 1,200 years ago, has been reconstructed for the first time. Experts spent 220 hours handcrafting the features of the wealthy noblewoman, who was at least 60 years old when she died, using a 3D printed cast of her skull and data on her bone and muscle structure. Archaeologists uncovered the tomb of the so-called Hormi Queen, alongside 57 female aristocrats from the Wari culture, an ancient people that ruled the region centuries before the famous Incas. Scientists say, the woman was buried in particular splendor, with her body kept in a private chamber surrounded by jewelry and other luxuries, including gold ear flyers, a copper ceremonial axe, and a silver goblet. Now experts have recreated the woman's face to try and understand more about her life, who researchers suggest earned her lavish burial as a master craftswoman. The burial chamber, miraculously untouched by grave robbers for centuries, was uncovered in 2012 by University of Warsaw researcher Dr. Milas and Peruvian archaeologist Dr. Roberto Pimental Nita. Experts labeled the 1,200-year-old Temple of the Dead, found at the El Castillo de Hormi site, a four-hour drive north of the Peruvian capital Lima, one of the most important discoveries of the century. The Hormi Queen was buried with weaving tools made of gold, suggesting she earned her elite status as an expert craftswoman, National Geographic reports. An analysis of her skeleton showed she was at least 60 years old when she died, and used her upper body extensively, while spending most of her time sitting, lending credit to the master weaver theory. Andean cultures from the time, especially the Wari, prized their weavers and the intricate textiles they produced which sometimes took two to three generations to craft. Dr. Milas said, the textiles the women made over her lifetime would have far outvalued the gold and other treasures she was buried with. To find out more about the Hormi Queen's life, the researchers commissioned facial reconstruction expert and archaeologist Oscar Nilsson to rebuild her head. Mr. Nilsson, who is based in Stockholm, Sweden, used a 3D printed version of the noblewoman's skull as a base, but recreated her features by hand. Her new face was crafted using datasets that allowed Mr. Nilsson to estimate the thickness of her muscle and flesh. Chemical analyses of the Hormi Queen's bones have shown she grew up drinking local water, allowing Nilsson to base his model on pictures of contemporary inhabitants in the El Castillo de Hormi area, where she had lived. To reconstruct her hair, some of which was still attached to her skull when she was found thanks to the arid climate, Mr. Nilsson used real hair from elderly Andean women from a Peruvian wig supply market. When I first saw the reconstruction, I saw some of my indigenous friends from Hormi in this face. Her genes are still in the place, Dr. Miles said.